I bought a DSi XL pretty recently uh, with the broken top screen, fully intending on making a Game Boy Macro. And for those who don't know, it's basically just a DS console with the top half cut off. Um, the idea is that you use broken consoles to start with instead of perfectly working consoles. Um, it's just a good way to make a good console to play like Game Boy Advance type games without having to backlight a Game Boy Advance. And uh, I started looking into, I, I, I got the console and it's one of these uh, nice, uh -oh. one of these nice brown models. And um, I don't know, I, the color is actually starting to really grow on me. And so I feel bad cutting it up. So instead of cutting it up, I started looking into prices to fix it. Because I don't know how well you can see this on screen, but that screen itself, you can see the cracks in it. Um, the console seems to work otherwise. I just, uh, I don't know. I think I'm, I might fix it instead of making a macro. So I'm looking into prices, and I'm not really happy with what I'm seeing. So I decided to try something a little bit silly. And right here, I've got plugged in, as you can see, the uh, ribbon goes to this DSi screen. So top half of this console is a DSi, bottom half is a DSi XL. And, uh, well, guess what? It works. And uh, there's the picture the previous owner took. Oops, that's the wrong light. As you can see, everything seems to be working. You can pull up the camera here. And you can't see much because it's just grabbing the uh, camera I'm filming with. If I can, maybe, no? How do you flip that around? I don't know how you flip it around, but in a game here. And as you can see, everything is working. This isn't my, well it is my game, but this isn't my game saved, so I don't know what the heck's going on here. But, I guess if you ever wanted a DS with a crooked, <laughs> with an off-center screen, and uh, two different size screens, of course, the opposite of a 3DS, there you go, plug in your DSi LCD to your DS console, or DSi CD to your DSi XL. I believe the same is possible for the bottom screen. Actually, let's try it out, shall we? Got all the parts here. Might as well. I'm not going to bother plugging this stuff back in though. It's a pain in the butt. Alright, so... Oh, shoot. The screen itself, there are three ribbon cables. This big one right here. This little one right here. Oh. And this little one up here. The two on the right are for the screen, the LCD. The big one is the like image data, and then the little one is for the backlight. And then the one right there is the um, the touch panel. But once you've got those unplugged, the screen itself come right out. And then we got to do the same thing on my donor here. Yeah, I was looking at replacement parts today, 
and I thought the uh, DSi and DSi XL parts looked awful similar. The uh, touch screen is probably not going to line up. Like, I won't be able to plug it in, but that's okay. We don't need it. We just need the backlight and this to try it out. Oh, shoot. The backlight ribbon doesn't really line up. We'll make it work. Yeah, the other ribbon's not even going to come close. Oh, that is so backwards. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's beautiful. Well, there you go. I don't, touch screen's not going to work because the ribbon cable doesn't reach, but if you wanted to put some small screens on your DSi XL, there you go. I don't know, just a quickie tonight, guys. Thanks for watching.